we are going to actually go over a review left by one of the uh, one of the viewers here today. After a moment, we're going to introduce players first, though. This is for the Red Bull Team Liquid map making competition. I'm Rifkin, and I hope you've enjoyed today because it's been a lot of fun on Base Trade TV. Spawning here, though, in the upper left corner of the map, Habitation Station. <laughs> I'm just going to be doing Schoolhouse Rock or whatever for the rest of the day. <laughs> it's going to be the Red Bull. Sorry. <coughs> Okay, that caught me off guard. It's gonna be the Red Protoss player from SK Telecom. It's gonna be Parting. And his opponent, of course, in the upper right, playing for Evil Geniuses. It is the Green Terran alive. I had the pleasure of casting alive for the Home Story Cup uh, Korean qualifiers, actually. This guy's pretty darn good. Sadly, did get knocked out and didn't qualify, but I absolutely positive he's gonna have what it takes to go up against Parting. Now, uh, I was this reps squishy wrote some reviews on each of these maps kind of gave him his personal scores too at first glance habitation station he did give a four to five and said <clears throat> and I quote so it's a pretty rampy and condensed on the left side and the right side but in the middle is a very wide open area you play on the map with your eyes first and I love the textures that they are using for the star station and jungle effect dang it imba towers golds <laughs> so a kind of cute review from this guy. If you guys are reviewing any of these maps on the Team Liquid thread, I will do my best to read them out and try and uh, convey the information. But of course, let's not forget, today is not just about the players. I mean, let's be honest, it's about the players. However, it's also about the maps and the map makers. And I believe if it's not too late after this game, we're going to try our best to get etc. on the call to talk a little bit about his map, Graveside. But for the time being, if anyone's just tuning in and you haven't seen any uh, games so far, Habitation Station is one of the newer maps created for the Team Liquid Red Bull map making competition. Uh, prior to this morning, I don't believe any player had actually played on any single one of these maps. And, sorry, just make sure I had the right overlay on, or the right game screen. That would have been very awkward. But as we can see here, uh, the gold, this is what he was talking about in the review. This is what we actually just saw a game or two ago with uh, Jokshi, where the gold base can come into play in very interesting effects. I think our Terran player had like 3,000 income or something insane like that with minerals when he got this base established. So it can be a huge aid, but also a huge threat as it's very cut off from your main. This You can force field this off as a Protoss player, storm right on in, literally and figuratively, and destroy this base. Uh, other third bases are a little further down. They're a little more exposed. And of course, there's this awkward little hallway hiding. You could probably sneak some pylons in here pretty nicely. Uh, Engineering Bay Block did go down the other side of the field. Sorry, still just trying to show people the map real quick. Rocks down here, blah, 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 blah. Lots of open space in the middle of the map, which is fantastic for fighting. And of course, lots of dead airspace around the bases. So you can get in and harass without consequence to like, your banshees or your warp prisms or whatever. You won't just lose them needlessly. Everyone's saying Parting's a Gold League scrub. I know, that load screen, right? I'm pretty sure every professional player plays actively and practice actively on like a barcode. They probably just save their main accounts for like tournaments, so I mean, whatever guys. I know you guys are being sarcastic, but for those who don't understand why everyone, the, the few of you who are like, what? Why? But of course, oh, I forgot to point out, this is a brand new best of three as well. So that's why the scores are currently 0-0. Zero zero. You'll always see the scores updated down here in the lower left. Parting takes out the engineering bay and does start to build. Did I miss first blood? No, I didn't. Not just yet. So the SUV still going to poke around and scout. Going to be kind of shut down by a sucker, though. Not a lot I can do. And I've been told by the admins, by the way, I believe most of the people left in the tournament at this point are Korean, so they may be moving every match over to the Korean server instead of jumping back and forth between Korea and North America. We are currently playing on the Korean server to minimize lag and maximize gameplay between Parting and Alive. But, oh, as if you can try to sneak past, can it get up to the main to scout anything? First blood. No, it just barely doesn't see the Stargates. Oh, that would have been a big tell to see that coming out early. Knowing that an Oracle potentially could be in his base. Alive might prepare a little bit differently, but he's still going to play Paranoid. I love this too. Keep him Marines in base, but he just doesn't have enough of them is the problem. Five Marines versus an Oracle. The Oracle will shred, well, four Marines even, will shred these, mar these Marines don't stand a chance. They're going to die. Does he go straight for the mineral line though? If he does, then maybe the Marines have a chance to get in connect, but... Alright, Oracle's gonna go off, kill some SUVs. That bonus damage, that bonus damage, folks. And again, I want to reiterate, because there was some confusion at the start of the day. 
These are simply the new maps. This is not on like the beta server. There's no patch involved. These are not the speedy oracles. We're not going to have reduced widow my damage. There's no actual uh, unit changes or building changes or anything like that in the game right now. These are simply new maps and only new maps. Oh. Well, going to try and see again with these Hellions. I mean, he's already seen the air units. He knows this is no big tell. This is no big scale. But what is a really big deal is he's not even the probes he may kill. Oh, beautiful Graviton beam coming out of parting. And the worker is making another citizen's arrest on this map. We've had two of those today. The High Templar from Jakshi that was up here. <laughs> the Hellion that was over here by the probes. But what he does see is that there's no Twilight Council. What he does see is there's no double forge. There's not five gateways coming down. If he'd come down here, would have seen one forge. But... This is kind of a great thing for Live, knowing that that's no longer like the biggest threat in the world. And these Phoenixes, like I said, they're, they're a little bit more prevalent in the Korean meta than they are in, say, the North American. If you guys are big fans of North America, you don't really see this a lot. Phoenixes versus Terran, but they are incredibly effective, as we see right now. Oracle going to come in here and, oh god, there's actually nothing here to defend. Going to pick up SCVs with the Phoenixes and Alive forced retreat out once again. Now, I do find it kind of cool that, uh, if you guys recall... One of the big changes coming in the in the patch future is going to make oracles faster. One of the biggest problems with every Heart of the Swarm unit that was introduced to this game and still has not been addressed till now, almost like half a year later, or actually it's been over half a year, I believe, uh, is every Heart of the Swarm unit is basically shut down by running away. Locust moves so slow, you'll walk away from them. Oracles, they do a lot of damage, but they can't sustainably keep up with the SUVs. You just run away with them. And same with uh, the Widow Mines. They burrow, they stay in position, they don't move, you run away. But Hellion's going to try and come in and are shut down entirely. Not a single kill goes off. Phoenix is still posing a bit of a threat here behind the mineral lines of parting. Or sorry, of uh, alive from parting. 13 workers have been picked off so far this game. And this is really annoying. Medivac may even go down here. It's a little bit out of position. It is incredibly out of position, actually. It does go down. And, you know, picking off SCVs, that's whatever. That's expected. But losing a Medivac this early is painful. Now, one thing we see Alive doing that's a little bit different than most is a Banshee. And not just a Banshee, but a Banshee with Cloak coming up next. Oracle of the main, though, once again, ravaging the worker line. 15 workers have been killed by the single Oracle, but 21 have been killed in total. Sorry, 17 now. It does finally get cleaned up. But Alive has taken so much economic damage from such a minimal amount of units. Alright, well, posing around, going to do what he can. I like that Alive got bunkers up. Again, it's kind of not knowing what the follow-up is. A little bit worried, a little bit scared. Ooh! Phoenix is coming back here for round two. <laughs> Still King! Just, ah! Such fast units. Alive, you are currently experiencing what I like to call Zerg problems. Welcome to the club. <laughs> of course, I highly doubt this is the first time Alive has ever experienced this sort of harass. It's got to be frustrating for him. It can't be a lot of fun. Back at home, Parting's got such great tech. But what he lacks is infrastructure, and that's what he's finally getting up by putting these extra gateways down. By getting the extra production available and out in uh, in the field, so to speak. But, again, the Phoenix is in and out, in and out, so quick. They're not killing a lot. They're not devastating Alive. What really devastated Alive was that Oracle. But with the Banshees revealed now... Oh, no! There's no detection! He could get an Oracle out, maybe, but there's no Robo down yet. It's just completing. This is going to hit so perfectly for Alive! He's going to get a lot of kills here before anything gets on the field to detect. He's trying to get cannons out. He's trying to get cannons out, guys. That's how desperate this just got. Banshee's going to try and even up the kills, but if Alive's paying a little more attention, he'll kill some more workers before this gets cleaned up. Uh, looks like... Oh, Banshee got feedback killed by the High Templar in the natural. Sorry, I was trying to keep an eye on that, but I was really obsessed with where this Banshee's going. Currently up to 10 kills. a starting field, but got to make a long trip to get up to 24. Marine's going to poke out a bit. Phoenix is going to chase this down. Sadly, out of energy. Well, not out of energy. We can't cloak, so it does go down. Might not uh, go down the fastest, but still goes down. Oh, the Phoenixes. Oh, the Phoenixes. Again, on top of the harassment, getting the building cancels, delaying the barracks from getting out. Pro this is production. This is the critical part of Alive's sort of build, so to speak. I mean, it's Terran play. That kind of seems like a dumb thing to say, stating the obvious, but... Man, oh man, Helly's gonna come in here to poke the front. We'll see that he can't take this fight. Is Stim done? Stim is at least done. No combat shields. Does have plus one on the way. But still, never been left alone for a moment. This third base is command center. Isn't I know that Phoenix is camping yet. This is never gonna get built. SCV back on it. Alive will probably get back to this. But again with the Oracle. There might be turrets up. But there's a lot of open space. <laughs> and again, we see the Oracle come in. 
Uh, perhaps a little bit of Miss Micro there out of parting. Oh, he was lifting up the SUV at the third, that's why. Uh, but the Marines are killed off, so you don't even need to control an Oracle, apparently. You just kind of let it go go to town on whatever it wants. 10 kills, 11 kills, 13 kills! This is absurd, and now Parting is going to push with a devastating force of... Oh, so many Zealots with plus 2 armor. They've got charge. There's storms behind them. Alive has no medevacs to speak of. One just now coming out. I just can't... Oh, hallucinated Archons! This is like... Icing on the cake for Alive as he pushes into the base of Alive. Our evil genius player, of course, focusing on the Archons, wasting a lot of damage. Big storms do go down. Good game is called, and Party will secure game one in this best of three. Ugh. Deep breaths. <laughs>